In our previous two videos, we discussed pre-shading and base color. Now I'd like to discuss post-tinting, which is a technique that in a lot of ways is very similar to the panel-by-panel -panel technique that I demonstrated when we did the base color. Only now, we're not going to address so closely to the panel lines themselves, as those areas have been addressed by the pre-shading technique that we did at the very beginning. Rather, we want to go ahead and address more central within each panel, but again, going panel by panel. So let's go ahead and get into this process. We have here our color cup with the base color that we've already worked with on our model. It's just uh, appropriate thin, no changes to it as, at this time. However, what we want to do is add about 10 to 15% white paint. I've already gone ahead and shaken up my paint. I know it's homogenized, so that process has been taken care of. So we just want to give it a few drops. Give it a good stir, and you should see the paint, paint lighten up just a little bit, and that's pretty good. Now, before we readdress the model, there's a couple more steps we want to do. First off, because you've added a little bit of white paint, we just want to give it a little bit more thinner as well because the paint concentration is a little bit off. So just a few more drops of thinner to keep it like it was previously. Give it another quick stir. And now we're ready to go back to the airbrush. Now that we've loaded up the airbrush with our modified paint, one last step before we actually address the model. The airbrush still has a quantity of the original paint in it, so you want to go ahead and flush that through and introduce the new lighter color before you apply it to the model. So we're just going to shoot on paper towel real quick, and very quickly you should see the paint adjust and go a little bit lighter. <clears throat> so now that we've accomplished that, we're all set to go ahead and readjust the model again. Similar to the panel by panel technique, you're going to come in at a high angle and you're going to work inside each panel. You can back off just a little bit to get a little bit more of a feathered effect. And just take your time with this process. Okay, so there we have it. We have three techniques that we've done now. The pre-shading, the base color, and now the post-tinting. These three techniques working together can create more creativity in your modeling and in the finished effect. They can be either subtle or dramatic, but in the end, you'll have a much more interesting result.